before we get into the new weekend top five with a very special guest, I want to remind you that the sale is still going on. It's the back to school sale, and I'm going to keep it quick. It's two shirts, $24.99. You get to request one. We pick one. So it's kind of like buy one that you would like, and then we give you another randomly. You get to request which one you would like. Request one, get one, and I'm giving away another golden fro pick. One was already found. I'm adding another one. So good luck. Jared Poland Frono's photo.com, and it's time for the new top five. It's the new and improved, and it's better than new Coke, which most of us don't remember. Um, it's new because I've got somebody picking the top five this week, and we've got Ryan Connors down here, Miss Kill Kenny Cat. You bastard, you killed Kenny. No? No. All right, anyway. So, Ryan, I asked Ryan to pick this week's top five from the weekend theme of the 25th and the 26th, where the theme was city. And so it was her job to go through and pick the five and send them to me because I'm not picking them this week. And we may continue to have guest posters on in the future, which is definitely a, definitely a cool thing. And she is going to tell you what the new theme is as well because she got to pick it. But before we do that and before I tell you all the new rules and get into the critique, let's see who won last week. There were 121 likes. There were how many votes? How many votes? How many votes? 797 votes and 145 comments. And the winner is... Andrew Mim Welch. It's this photo of love. Now, I got a couple of emails from people asking if this was a direct uh, stolen image, and it wasn't. But there is an image floating around that's similar to it, and I actually think this one's better than the original, but um, they're very, they very much look the same. So if you're going to post stuff like that, you should attribute the per, you know, the, who you got it from. But I know that this is their photo that they took themselves, and the execution is right on. And congratulations, because you won yourself a black rapid strap. And then so did somebody who voted in down in here with the comment box. We will contact them privately and let them know that they want a strap as well. So, Ryan, what? Well, let me tell the new rules first, then we'll go into the new theme. The new rules. We are going to pick a theme each week, just like we've been doing for the past year, I think. And... Now, in order to be in the top five, you have to follow the theme. You have to challenge yourself to go out there and capture images that match that in order to be in the top five. If you still want to post images about anything, which I do encourage, if you're not going to follow the theme, you can still post any image that you would like from the time that you shoot, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Do I let people shoot up until Tuesday? Yes. I do. Okay, I forgot. So you can shoot up until Tuesday. And if you don't follow the theme, that's fine. You can still be a part of the critique. So those are the new rules. Before we get into the top five, what is the new theme? In dreams. In dreams. Do you want to give us a little explanation of how you envision that? Well, I thought it would be a creative and fun theme where, I mean, dreams are so vast. You can dream about flying or like your new car, Dream house, dream girl. I mean, there's dream the girl are endless. So I think people would have fun with that. Yeah, and so what I when I think of when I hear in dreams is honestly it could be just about anything. But what you what we would like you to do is when you're explain when you post your image, explain to to everybody how it fits in the concept, how it fits into that theme. That will be something great because then we can get a little bit more information about what is the photo all about. So if you're sitting there laying in bed dreaming or you're shooting sheep, well, then you're counting sheep, you know? That could be in dreams. That's something that helps you dream. That's, you know, that's, I, I, that's my way of thinking. So I'd like to see what you do for in dreams. You can post, you can shoot Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and now the images must be posted in the forum on before the end of the night, Wednesday, Eastern Standard Time, uh, because it just makes it easier to have somebody else guest post and guest pick the top five and all of that good stuff. So, Ryan, it's your turn to tell us about the top five you picked. Okay. I tried to stay with the theme for, for this theme for City because I know a lot of people like that. So, anyway, but um, the first one is I think it's Manchester and I picked it because I, I absolutely love the orange hue of it. I love the haze, the gradient, how it you know goes from dark to light towards the city and I really thought it was interesting the, the three buildings in the foreground. I just thought it was an overall great picture. Okay, that's from VW Newton Demamo. Next one. And this one 
this one really caught my eye because at first I thought, how did they do that? Um, and then I figured out, you know, from dusk till dawn, they took two pictures and it was just extremely creative. I, I love the glow of, of the lights and just the framing of the trees on the bottom and how the, the light rays from behind just draw your eye in. I, it's a really great concept. And that's from Rot Roll. Rot Roll. Rot Roll. Next is from, ha, what's that say? Hamank 76. This is a great photo because it's, just, it's, I think it's in South Korea and it's right after a typhoon's passed. And these two women, they're just standing there, just nonchalant. They're waiting for the bus. Be, yeah, the other one looks like she's waiting for a bus. And then the city is just, it's in a mist behind. I, I was executed very well and I like the editing of it. Yeah, I would have picked that photo also. Yeah. Uh, then we got Hagrid. Well, H. H. Garrett. Yeah. <laughs> H. Garrett. I like this one. It's in Florida. And the, the first thing I thought was, I, I like the framing and I like the crop because they used the leaves out of focus. It just drew, drew my eye in. And the fact that the girl, she's kind of coy and she's standing in there in a white dress and she's barefoot. She's barefoot in Florida. I mean, there could be snakes and all sorts of things in there. I, I, I don't know. That's the kind of image that I would love to take. And I think it's so well done. Okay, then <laughs> the fifth one is from Design by a Andrin. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is Paris. It looks like it might be Paris. I just love the contrast between all the old architecture leading you into the new, <laughs> the city, the Cat Dahlia, and um, how the creams and the blue hues are kind of well. subdued <laughs> against the... Uh, Bright green trees and it just draws your eyes right into the city and I had to pick it. This is and another it photo. Really hard. It was really hard picking all these pictures going through the forum because there was a lot of good pictures. I, and you see what I face every week, right? Indeed. It really, really, because you, you start questioning yourself. You go, well, uh, you know, is this one? And it's really tough. That's why I on occasion pick six sometimes. But I will tell you, sometimes it's hard to even find four and you stretch because it's just, it's hard to pick a photo and decide now I would have picked some of these that you picked and I haven't fully gone through all for the critique that's going to happen after this uh, but I think you did a good job and what I like about having somebody else pick them is well you're going to get crap for picking the five you did but yeah thanks I, <laughs> yeah but I think it's really cool to see other people's takes on other people's images and it and it should make it stronger so I will try to pick people from different oh by the way I like this rug right here this is the one I'm thinking of buying for my new place all that I hope color. It's the one on the right. No, I don't like that's too plain and boring and no. See, we don't have the same taste. That's very farmhouse. This is very awesome industrial loft with an Would elevator. You have, yeah, no, I like the other one. Anyway, so top five picked by Ryan Connors, Kill Kenny Cat. Really awesome job doing that. Don't forget to vote. Click down here with the one that you would like to win the Black Rapid Strap. Don't forget to tweet it, like it, stumble it, tumble it, Google Plus it, pin it, and leave your comment down here for a chance to win a Black Rapid Strap as well. And don't forget that the new theme is In Dreams, and you have to follow the theme in order to be in the top five, but you can still shoot whatever you want to be a part of the critique. Please explain to us how your image fits into the theme. That's definitely a must when you're going forward. And remember, you can shoot on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and you have until Wednesday evening to post your images. You can post them right after you take them, so that's not a problem. And there you've got it. Ryan, any last words? No, just thank you for having me choose the top five, and good luck to everybody. Good luck to everybody. So coming up right now is... The critique. So here we go. It's time for the critique. And I'm. this is my time to pick the photos. And Ryan did a great job picking the top five. So don't forget to vote. But now I go and do the critique. So some of the photos you may see again. I thought this was a very nice job. Nice lighting. Way to show the portrait of this guy. Uh, just getting ready for the fight. Now I'm going to go pretty quick here. Because I think there's almost 40 pictures for the critique. Because there were a lot to talk about. Nice job right there. I thought this was a nice shot as well. Really love the wall. I love the multiple angles. The wall running that way. The wall running that way. The subject in it. Very nice job. Nice image. Rome. Guy sitting here on his iPad or something like that. I thought it was a cool shot. You know what, let me make this slightly smaller so, because the files are pretty small, there we go. Boom, so criticism. The colors are fine, I mean the colors are way over the top here, but the important thing, more important than the 
the, the reflection here is the top of the building. Cutting off the top of the building like this is definitely a no-no in my book. It's a nice try, but it, it, it go thicker with contrast too because it looks too glowy McGloerson and blown away. Ryan picked this photo for her top five. I was questioning whether I want to see it old world and black and white really thick, but hey, it's still a cool shot. So we have a wedding shot. The eyes, I lose it for the eyes. Everything about this image is awesome. The bokeh, um, everything but the eyes. It's too flashy McFlasherson. It just, look, they're just like blown away. Uh, and that's my criticism. I'd like to see natural eyes here somehow. I just, you can just see the flash popped in it. I love these locks. I love these keys. This may have been one that I would have picked for the top five, possibly if I was picking the top five, just because I really like the fact that there's both of these locks. That blue lock makes it. If that blue lock wasn't in it, it wouldn't have been a win it. A winner. A winner! Um, but really, that's a nice nice composition, nice job. And the story behind the locks, for anybody who doesn't know, I think it's the Brooklyn Bridge. Somebody, they started putting the locks on there, and so other people started putting their locks on there, uh, their love for their other people and all that good stuff. I thought this was a, just a nice shot. Uh, Ryan picked this shot as well. This is one that I would have picked in the top five. So I like the card catalog. I really like it. One thing I would do is maybe lower. Mm, I don't know if I would lower it now. You know, there's a little bit of room here. I'm, I see why they didn't lower it because you had this here. So it's a cool shot. I like the colors. So here, with this old world one city, you know, this is the one, the one road town type of thing. You got to pump the contrast. You got to do something different. This is a black and white. It's yelling black and white. You got to do something with it. Even if you pump the contrast in it, it it's, just, it's just too plain. So you got to pump it up somehow. This is a cool concept, throwing the baby, well, holding the baby in the air with the fisheye. And now we've got a fisheye. And my thing, the reason I picked this is because the fisheye is used the wrong way so many times. It's over the top. It's not saying this photo, just saying that people use it too much. And it becomes a crutch because everything's a fisheye. And it really, you have to be very creative to do a fisheye properly. So these are two MMA fighters that, I, that they said... And they really pump the pink. And I like to pump the pink with the rest of them out there, but they pump the pink way too much. It's too, it's too pink. It's too not natural. Uh, other than that, it's, a, it's nicely done. These girls would kick my ass. You kick my ass, yo. Yo. That's my reference to uh, Breaking Bad. Um, so we got a girl laying in a window with her legs up on the window. It's cool. I would like to see better lighting on her. Oh, uh, yawn. Excuse me. It's midnight right now. Um, but, yeah, it's a cool shot. So, look at all of these sunflowers. It must be the David Sunflower headquarters. So, I'd like to see this. This is, hey, this is a Lytro camera dream if this was a Lytro. Um, but for this image, you know, there were a couple. You either focus on one of the close-up flower, sunflowers without her in it get her in focus. It's just way too distracting to have a head there out of focus. It's just way too distracting. I like this compilation of images taking these Brits crackers or whatever they are. I love all three of them. Nice job. Fireworks with these people kissing at the bottom. There's some tongue in there. I can see it. There's some tongue. That's right. Get a room. Get a room. I like it. Nice job. Pump the contrast on this. You got a win at. I like this. Nice. Very nice shot. Not much of a skyline, but nice execution. This is another one where I say either a creative crop is going to work or a black and white or, I mean, yeah. So this is what I'm saying. If this was taken with a 50 millimeter 1.4 or something, fill the frame, blow it out in the background, crop it creatively about here at this line and then creatively about right at the top of this pole, I think a black and white would be the winner for this as well, but creative crop would make it work because in the background you've got that special medical care center. Ryan picked this. We already talked about it. I love circuitry. Look at this stuff. How fascinating. It's things like traveling the circuit, and it's like I'm Tron, and I've got a disc, and I'm in a game. It's kind of like that. He's a romp. And then it's a squirrel monkey. The reason I picked this isn't, well, there's a twofold. Is this called hurling? Hurling, where you whack the, the, you get that whacking stick and you whack the baseball thing. That's a nasty sport. I watched it on TV. They like beat the crap out of each other. 
my criticism on this is even if you have a kit lens, even if it's a 55 to 200, a 55 to 300, you need to use the longer end of it to try to blow out the background at 5.6 at the least because it's so distracting that it just it takes away from the image. You got to fill the frame tighter using even if it's a 55 to 200, I would only shoot at 200. Challenge yourself at the longer end to do that. If you're going to take a portrait like this and have the car, get the whole car in there. That's the critique for that one. This is a cool st street image. I'd like to see it a little brighter because it's a little on the dark side. This is a nice shot of a of an old lead factory. This is a shot of a subway. I like this street level shot of whatever building that is. Um, I love the fact that the cars are going by and, and it's a longer exposure. That adds to the image. I love the street level look of it. Love the eyes. Love the contrast. I really think, I don't think it's with a flash. I just love the thick contrast. That's a crispy, creamy, awesome image. I like this concept with the, the, the weeds and then, the, and then the, the thing in the background. Those are called buildings. I like that. I like this too. Even though it's HDR, it's clean. It's nice. Look at the stadiums in the background, multiple ones. Very nice job. I like it. This is cool too in, in, in um, Medellin. It's uh, Bogota, Colombia. Look at all those people. Another nice shot. Is that the same person? Same person. Two really nice street shots. More circuitry. Just love it. This is this kind of stuff that I would call art and put on the wall. Imagine printing this on metal. If you printed this with Adorama Pix, not with the white undercoating, but with the dull one, this would be an awesome photo to print that way. Really, really, I, I, wanted, I should do that. Either get this guy to send me his picture or actually do that myself. This is a cool one. I would put this on metal and put it in, in my new place. Uh, nice. And back to the beginning. So really cool shots, guys. I hope you like the new concept where we have somebody picking the top five. Thanks, Ryan, for doing that. Don't forget that when you post your images, please let us know how it fits the theme. The new theme is in dreams. Don't forget to vote for your favorite one to help them win a Black Rapid Strap, as well as leave a comment to help yourself win a Black Rapid Strap. You can tweet it, like it, stumble it, tumble it, Google Plus it, and pin it. And that's all I got to say. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to vote. There you have it, Jared Poland, Frono's photo. Oh yeah, one last thing. I'll add it later. Dot com. See ya. Are you subscribed yet on the YouTube channel? Well, click this subscribe button right here. Also, click this box if you want to be emailed every time I upload a new video, so you can get the latest video uploads as they happen. And also, if you haven't signed up for the free user's guide, sign up right here. Put your name, email address in here. Hit send it. You will get a free ebook sent to your email, as well as a link to a 60 minute long video on flash photography in the studio that Adam and I created. So please do that, and we'll see you.